Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to show you how to organize your Google Chrome browser to do multitasking. See if you are doing work from home and when you want to open multiple tabs to do multiple tasks. See in Google Chrome browser, if you want to open Gmail, when you are taking online meeting or when you are attending some kind of meeting, when you are suddenly asked to show Gmail or some kind of account from your Google Drive or a Google form, then in that situation, maybe when you are opening one, you might have opened something else. For example, you are asked to show Google Drive, but suddenly in confusion, you might have opened your Google photos and exposed all your photos to the people who are attending the online meeting or even in other cases also where you have to organize Google Chrome like in that way, like you are using your account is as well as one more person from your home is also using the same computer or laptop. So in that situation, there will be a lot of confusion how to log into Google Chrome or how to log into your Gmail account and somebody else they have to try to log in. So all these confusions creates a lot of confusion when you are doing work from home. So in this video, I'm going to give you a solution about how to organize your Google Chrome browser to do multi tasking but before i start the video as usual if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment I upload videos on youtube and one more thing the channel crossed to 6000 subscribers it is because of all of you so thanks for showing love and affection on this channel so now without any delay let us begin video about how to organize google chrome browser to do multitasking in from work from home let us begin the video now first open your google chrome browser if you are using laptop or desktop so once you open your google chrome browser here you can see i have organized this google chrome browser depending upon different needs see here you can see i am admin and then i am using personal account i am using professional account and i am using the school account that means i am doing multitasking but it is not confusing and it is very easy to perform now see here if you can clearly observe who is using Chrome? With Chrome profiles, you can separate all of your Chrome stuff, create profiles for friends and family, or split between work and fun. So if you have not yet prepared or done these kind of things, it will be a lot of confusing when you are using Google Chrome browser to work from home. So I'll show you how to organize these things depending upon your needs, it can be different. So I'm giving you a common idea about how to organize Google Chrome browser. Now, before I start, here you have to see on the right side of the screen show on startup so you have to select this thing so that the moment you start the google chrome browser it will show you this window now see uh, you may be performing different tasks so one account you should have for personal and another account for your professional at least two you have to use one is for personal another one is for professional as I'm a uh, school teacher, so I have a separate account for school and as I'm admin for some uh, G Suite account, so I'm also having a different login. So I have not mixed everything and I have not going to do mess. So every account has a different login. So let me first show you how I have actually organized my personal account. You will get an idea. So once you select the personal account, here you can see all these are organized that means the moment if i want to go to the school g suit i cannot go from this account because that is different and this is different so in here is my personal google classroom account so let me show you once that means if you have different classrooms you can even organize those things also so this is my personal google classroom and if you want to open email without going here, without searching for Gmail and all those things or without opening this Google Apps tab, you can directly open your Gmail accounts by just by clicking that one. So Gmail account is automatically opened. Or if I want to open Google Drive, just click on Google Drive and Google Drive will be opened. So instead of opening browser, instead of opening here apps and all those things and logging, because as I told you, instead of opening your drive, you might have opened photos and that will create a lot of problems when you are attending online meeting. So in this way, you can organize all the important like Gmail, Google Drive, Maps, Amazon, whatever you want to do, you can add. So how do we do actually all these things? Now, let me just come back. Uh, let me close this again. I will open this Chrome browser. See, once I open the Chrome browser here, you can see add 
icon so you have to select first add icon so once you select this add icon it will ask you set up your new chrome profile so to access your chrome stuff across all your devices sign in then turn on synchronization so now let us go with the sign in so once you select sign in it will ask you sign in to chrome sign in with your google account to get your bookmarks history passwords and other settings on all your devices so you have to enter your email id and then uh, enter the password and it will be you will get a new account here so let me just come back because i don't want to add a new account so once you add a new account so let me like i have added a new account like professional and then you can edit that one also see edit once you edit you can customize profile you can change the name whether if you want professional or work or whatever the name you want to give to that account you can give to the account and you can customize with the colors also preferred colors it is better to customize different uh, what you call accounts with a different color so that there will be no confusion so all your settings will be different and then you can select even profile picture also so let me come back again so again let me open now here you can see even you have guest mode also that means if you don't want others to use your computer using their login here like creating one more profile you can ask those people to use your computer in a guest mode now let me show you uh, how to add and how to organize all these things in google chrome browser so further let me open my professional account see here i have not added many things so i'll demonstrate here how to add so here you can see add shortcut so if you want to organize google chrome browser first thing what you have you have to divide accounts that means you have to separate accounts personal account professional account if your husband also using your laptop or computer that is of course risky but you have to give separate account for your spouse and if your children are also using then you have to give separate account so that they will not log into your account and they will not do any kind of nonsense now how to add say for example i have added here gmail only now you want to add chrome uh, what do you call drive to your google chrome tab so let me show you how to do that you have to select add shortcut so it will ask you the name and url you are a link now how do you get that one you open another tab here and uh, come to your google apps and now select your like google meet you want to start directly google meet without going to these apps otherwise you want to use maps or anything let me just go with google drive because most of the information you store in google drive so let us select google drive here now here you can see this is the google drive url here on the top left double click on that space and control c copy it come to this new tab and this is for drive okay google drive so name this as drive add shortcut and then paste that url and select done now see here your drive shortcut has been added to shortcut add it that means without going here you can directly select this drive and it will take you into drive without any confusion now again let me come back i'll show you one more shortcut so if you add these shortcuts you need not to search for these things again and again when you are busy in conducting some kind of meetings or doing work from home so let me add one more add shortcut now let me add google meet so most of us we are using these days google meet to conduct online meetings or to attend online meetings so let me select google meet so this will minimize your time and maximize maximize your efficiency okay so now this is your google meet so if you are using uh, google classroom then you can select that google classroom link and you can create a shortcut so this is google meet and click done so in this way whichever one say for example you want to add amazon or flipkart directly you know without taking a lot of time you want to do a lot of shopping so let us click amazon okay but you need to have an account in amazon so let us add amazon here so what you have to do is you just log into your account so let me just click here amazon log into your account and then select that link copy it and then come back 
and add shortcut paste url and then write amazon like this any kind of shortcut you can create which is available in google chrome browser so let me select them see here now amazon so once you select amazon it will directly take you into that page this will really minimize your time when you are working from home because if you organize your desktop in this way without confusion you can perform multitask so let me close again let me show you the basic things which i explained is you have to first organize your google chrome browser into different accounts see i am using four different accounts in case if your laptop or desktop is shared with your spouse or with your children then they can add a separate account don't allow them to use your account they can mess things like anything so for that you have to add and then give the name to that account personal account or professional account or your children account or if you don't want them to use your account uh, officially then ask them to use guest mode and you have to click this show on startup so if you organize your desktop i mean google chrome browser in this way then you can perform multitask you have to create account first and then you have to organize your google chrome browser so you can have n number of shortcuts on your google chrome browser so that the moment you open you can perform multitask without any problem now when you are doing multitasking say for example you have to open multiple windows let me open my chrome browser let me open my in email google drive and then i'll open like youtube okay all these things i have opened now this is little technical so you'd understand now when you want to uh, see all these things and when you are conducting a meeting or attending a meeting if all these tabs are like this and if you want to see the other tab also like what you are doing in online meeting and what you are showing in online meeting just click here it is your email so just click here let me uh, go with one question paper or something which i want to show otherwise i'll show you another thing like okay youtube video or you want to open now when you want to show these two things in your google meet when you are attending a meeting just select here click new tab to write add tab to reading list add tab to new group move tab to a new window just select move tab to new window now this is a single tab and you can minimize it and this also you can minimize it now you can show or you can see by yourself from your side two tabs on your screen so when you are organizing or when you are conducting any meeting or performing any task you can keep all these pages separate on screen and you can look into one page as well as in another page if you want to see for example you want to see simultaneously gmail and your youtube then you can watch but if you want to see both gmail and google drive simultaneously you can't do so what you have to do select this one move to another window new window now you can keep these two and you can watch these two windows so in this way also you can perform multitasking and without any kind of confusion so let me close this and let me open finally so in this way you can organize your google chrome browser to perform multitasking without any kind of confusion so this is about how to organize google chrome browser using one single desktop or laptop so thanks for watching this video and if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment I upload videos on youtube till next video stay home stay safe and take care bye bye thanks for watching this video if you have come to the end of this video i believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic so now you can check this out video or watch this one click this video it will take you into another video